Good afternoon, I'm Kill the Vid. I'm your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Thugs Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'm back again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode. This is going to be gaming live stream walkthrough episode 7. In the previous stream, Michael has lost his family. They are temporarily separating from him. And meanwhile, he's got Trevor for company. And unfortunately, that company brings a whole ton of trouble because we have done a favor for Martin Madrazo, who mentioned that his cousin was about to go state and testify with some incriminating evidence that would put him away with a conviction. So after dispatching him, Trevor informs Michael that he decided to kidnap Madrazo's wife, Patricia. So now they are on the lam from the Madrazo crime family and whoever might have it in for them. So let's get on with it, shall we? But grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's time for Let's Play Classic Pitch and Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode. Here we go. You can see me as uh, Franklin. Now I'm going to switch to Michael or Trevor. In this case, Michael. I'm also doing these car pickups for uh, Devin Weston. But I can't do those missions until I uh, do Franklin's missions. Then I'll unlock Trevor and Michael. So. <laughs> I believe I'm supposed to go over to Michael's. That's what's going to trigger the uh, character switch. And of course, I decided to shut off the music because of copyright reasons. I don't want to get any strikes against my channel. So it's Monday. Uh, let's see here. The second week of the new year. 2024, I actually look forward to it. I also look forward to getting as many subscribers and followers so that I can monetize and put out more content. I would greatly appreciate that. So if you haven't done so already and you like the content I'm reading, why not do me a solid and like, comment, subscribe, and share the 9 to 5 Outlaw of those gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And if you do feel generous and would like to contribute to my channel, I do have a Patreon listed in the description of this video. I would greatly appreciate it. That was your fault. So I'm gonna go over to Michael's, and this is where Franklin learns that Michael is away from the house. This don't make no fucking sense. And from uh, and also he's with Trevor. Because Trevor loves trouble. He loves to make situations escalate. He's a ticking time bomb, so to speak. And he has a definite short views. So when you go over to Michael's, this is what happens. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Cockroaches on the ground. Me and T did that job for him. 
and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, <laughs> the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Holding her for Nothing. ransom. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. Might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You're a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! Ah. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. Talk to, by talk right, let's go. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet them in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want... I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. <laughs> Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax funded militia. It's a dust. It's a duster. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio. Into the air, Junior Birdman. Into the air. Gotta be cautious because you fly above the altimeter meeting meter. You can draw attention to the police. They don't think you're a suspected terrorist.
like I said, got to stay on the altimeter. And runs incessant banter. Come in. The Merriweather planes in a holding pattern over Mount Chiliad. Try and keep under the radar. See? Air traffic's being monitored from the military base. Up and down, up and down. I gotta watch out for power lines and buildings and shit. And when I'm doing the uh, DLC, in this case, the uh, motorcycle club businesses that require me to cargo planes on my well. by plane, I'd be very cautious about this. Usually I draw attention to the police one way or the other, no matter how low I try to keep below the altimeter meter. The altimeter meter. Are you planning on forcing them to land? Didn't I say we had to take them in the air if we're to have any kind of shot at this? I thought I said that. You did. It's just I don't see how you're going to... Ah, you'll see. <clears throat> yeah, he's a sociopath. Very psychotic. Oh, great. I'm losing the air. Oh, look at that. He's crashed. It. I don't care what Ron says. I'm going to have to go up. I'll get okay. you on the CV! fly far enough to get the checkpoint, so here I am starting from the very beginning. Run to Trevor! The Merriweather plane is in a holding pattern to the west. Try and stay low. The control tower at Fort Sancudo is monitored. If you pause in GTA Online, you don't really pause at all because it's live, if you think about it. So if I try to set a waypoint in GTA Online, I run the risk of crashing the aircraft. Bring air traffic. You gotta drop, man. They're on their screens. skip the checkpoint I will in this case I'll get you on the radio no way can I have made those missiles Don't want to give him reason to think you're suspect. 
You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick. Control of this. Don't call me. The hive's gonna draw attention. You got bad information, brother. I'm fine. You're reading your key to send some. Altitude's just fine, Ron. Yeah, enough to me. Yeah, fine enough for me to crash into another tree or a power line. Descend, Trevor. This is meant to be a restricted airspace. You're too high. Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration. We're approaching Fort Zancudo, Trevor. It's vital you don't fly right over it. Yeah, alrighty. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. You got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god. forcing them to land? Didn't I say we had to take them in the air if we're to have any kind of shot at this? I thought I said that. You got a job, man. They're on their screens. Altitude corrected. You know, the cargo plane's got four jets, a 200-foot wingspan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. You're on their radar, Trevor. Lose altitude. You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick. There's a plane. He's right. low! Remember! Don't want to give him reason to think you're suspect. I'm plenty low enough, Ron. You got to descend, man. The military will be all over you. I'm in control of this. I can be myself out here. Bullying, reckless, totally selfish. Do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly. Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. Man, what a boot. They'll start monitoring you at that altitude. A single fan. A boot looker. Okay. You're still on their screens. I just wish Rob would shut up. Critical. There's 
no way I can dodge. I miss out on the shit. I got out so I can dodge the missile attack.
Control of this.
Allied aircraft, identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just a lonely guy out dusting his crops. Who are you? We're here to rob you. That's what. Unidentified aircraft, divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Really? Shoot me down? Well, that seems a little extreme, doesn't it? This is Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft, divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Final warning, divert or you will be grounded. I'm gonna take my chances, pal. Okay, I'm about to go in. I'm about to come in. Three, two, we are clear to engage! Oh, shit. Right now, it's that sucker inside. Coming for you. You're almost over the city, boss! If you're gonna do something, do it now! You're firing rockets at a crop duster? What's wrong with you? Shitty 
Chester? What's wrong with you? Skip. Lay down fire! This guy took. Got the cargo door!
You crazy prick! Now, who's gonna fly this thing? That's who. <laughs> Merryweather cargo jet for ground control. Please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Too bad you really can't save this plane. Changing frequency. Over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming party's here, Trevor. Fly safe now. Unfortunately, you can't buy this plane in our line. It's not weaponized anyway. Looks like a problem. Attention, Mary Weather Jet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you could diddle yourself? Hey, Ron. So, um. The frickin' Air Force are on me! Shit! Gain some altitude! They might not tangle with you up there! We'll see if that helps! Comply immediately! I'm landing at Mackenzie Field! We can discuss this there! On the dirt, like men!
Are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. <laughs> the bureau people are right here. So they, they once again need us for something that they can't necessarily get involved in directly. Five dollars? Damn, I might have to stick up a store to get some money. I won't get enough anyway. Getting away the whole cars out of service. Stray cats.
All right, I'm back with some more. Let's play Classic Region Grand Theft Auto Five. So, oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man! You were something! But now, man, you know, you're like this place, you're a shell! Go fuck yourself! Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero! So far above it all! Oh yeah, well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart! Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready! Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? <laughs> Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, Pilates. you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. Here's how we know that a government agency, a federal government agency of all, is encouraging criminals to do crime, but they want to keep their hands washed from it. Proof of government corruption. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, 
This Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. So Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Oh, we're, we're really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Uh, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Uh -huh. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. <laughs> right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. <laughs> this is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? <laughs> then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? Uh -oh. What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. <laughs> you should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What <laughs> the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. <laughs> You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. <laughs> Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I hate them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Well, it'll be because I'm I living out here away from the bean hipster. machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. <laughs> and you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle. Well, at least he can all rob the bankers. Again. He can do with the bankers a by robbing variety them. Hipster. But you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. Hipster. <laughs> So it's smacked up. Would you look it out? looks like a pug. Uh, looks like a pug with his face bashed in. Looks like a pug dog. <laughs> the bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that <laughs> shit off. Oh, please, all right, you'd alleviate the boredom. I'm gonna alleviate you, you don't stop that. <laughs> Ah, 
Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Even in the cinematic, the car's all broken uh. up. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. Real time. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Blaine County Savings Bank. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the suck. Shoot the sound of this weapon. Can you please shoot the alarm box? Could you please shut the hell up? Shoot it already! I shoot you. You having a breakdown? Ah, mental health? Get in here. Yeah, I'm gonna break down your face if you don't shut the hell up. Police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. This time it's not crashed into the gas. Roger pump. that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Here they come. Here are the, there are the police sirens. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, yeah four cars. So slow. More in the wings. Bad cops, so they they dirty money. Fuck to. how many. We can take this. See Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car Shit. searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cop. 
Gonna take the high road, but okay, follow the path. God, I just might beat them. Stay the course. Oh, almost hit that tree. Almost pulled a sunny bone. Yep, I'm gonna be. Beat him. Ha! Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. Trevor is you know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? Jeffrey That's Dahmer's just a, special. A what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. 
I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. So we're knock over I can get you the exact boy. details of the shipment still as soon as we're done here. Still anyway, gear. you won't be outside the bank Military too long. Leo Bay is, gear. well, it's a bay. This so you're straight away from the suits. water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Between Packy and Chef, Packy will request 14% more. Actually, that's the same cut. The cut remains the same. Gustav Malta. Packy wants 12%. Chef only wants 12% as well. If you pick an incompetent gunman, he's gonna drop the score. Same with any other crew member. So, n neither one of these two. So, Gustav, Chef, or Packy. So. I'm gonna pick, because Packy is hardened. I'm gonna pick Chef. That it? You sure? Yes. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Uh, you might try to well, you. You're right. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. There's some stuff happening outside. Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. And luckily for me, Franklin has his <laughs> no, Chuck, speed time. We can't deal with him yet. There's too many of them. It's like Max Payne, it's like bullet time. But it allows him to actually turn corners. Hey man, and me and Chop on these folks. We coming up to WH. North of Chumas. All right, all right, like the O'Neill brothers are coming man. to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Western Shit, I Highway. guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Don't lose. Oh, shit. I lost him. Man, fuck this shit. I lost him. Let me s Never mind. 
That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. I could lose him like that. There's nothing keeping up with him. This is the special building I was talking about for Franklin. Like speed time. No, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Yours, chop. Let's do this shit. Oh, shit. Trevor, man, shit. You there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, nah, they gone. <laughs> they ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Hey, I'm coming. 
coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. <laughs> with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. An inhuman being. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIP. <laughs> Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, <laughs> can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help? You can get out right now. Uh -huh. Hey, hey! We here on the ground. Them hit dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Any of them punks waiting around in the shallows?
This water is fucking cold. What's wrong with these rockets? We got him. Last guy's done, homie. All right. Huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. <laughs> hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Up, amigo.
Let me know if you need a hand, okay? Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That will take some doing. Shout if you need me. So these clothes. Michael would not dare touch. Hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Stop it. I'm gonna switch this trip.
Members get banned. Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some prepping. So go and say the game. Usually Look out! It's a six hour this game save.
Well, I'll be fucked. So the episode from the FBI with Burt Reynolds called All the Streets on Silent which is referenced and created in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where a criminal gang hijacks a military convoy to steal some military grade weapons.
We did it! Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Come take on, you dog. piece of shit. And take you. Do we have to steal? Oh, we're ready to move. That's great. But I need to pack, tack up. But first, I need to go stop an ammunition. Protecting your rights! Can I get a taxi? How far am I from ammunition? Oh, not far. I'm like a block away. That's perfect. I want to be fully armored. At least oh. one of us if it's fully armored. There it is, straight ahead. I know that building anywhere. I'll take that. What brings a city slicker like you down this way? Ammunition is like the bean machine of the firearms industry. That's a good way to put it. 
I think that you made the right choice. Now that is a beast right there. Hope that works out for you. You got lucky, buddy!
Okay, we're back with the heist, the Polito Bay heist in Grand Theft Auto V. We're about to run with it. Here we go. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. <laughs> First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's, <laughs> she's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. <laughs> Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a work for everyone? Great, let's go. Here we go. About to move on with the robbery. About to move with the robbery. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. Stood the reason he had funds. Next thing we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. <laughs> hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death. Bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... <laughs> if he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. That check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Trevor is a Maybe bit of a psychotic moron. Maybe me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe 
I was out in four, and that children is why we don't leave witnesses. That children is why you don't rob people that you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man. Shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. Two G. Take home on your first gig. Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. Money was useless then. Die pack. <laughs> <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Die pack. <laughs> Ow, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who? Me? Yeah. You. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work. I've got my life. Uh, and never the truth shall meet. Uh, if we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die pack? <laughs> hey, fuck you, <laughs> sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? Let's see who gives. Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. You fucking idiot! Uh. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! <laughs> so Franklin regrets telling about we ready the box score. I could use a restroom break on account and of, risk uh, getting ID. Die pack. You're an idiot. Grabbing a money bundle go. with die packs. Number two. Which happened to explode the moment you leave the bank. All right, we all good? Let's hit him! And then ruins your clothing and everything, like, almost permanent. If we're gonna hit it, let's hit it! Oh, we're hitting it. Here we go. We want a few minutes of your time! Get down! Today's going one of two ways, friends! Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! This is a power thing, buddy. Ah, keep an eye on our truck. It's an employee. Okay. You got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. I think the door's ready. Get over here and kick it in, Em. Don't you move. On the kick floor. Kick it down. Here we go. If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Uh, now that I can shoot him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Yeah. Bank robbery in progress. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got Police down here. Police call for armed robbery. <laughs> well, let me help myself. Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Beating it. <laughs> Eight million dollars. Only we gotta get us. Small bundle. Okay. I don't care if they surrender. Three, I'm killing these one, bad guys. Two. Now let the hostages go, and uh, at least we'll it puts more like money in our pocket. Cause we Time got, to face the we meat. got low wallets. Ah! Oh, they're gonna shit a chicken. Sweet mother shit. Here we go. It's party time, motherfuckers. <laughs> Thing cooks like bacon and beans gonna cook ya. Yeah. Yeah, how you like your hamburgers? Oh sorry. Roasty. Let's keep going. 
Trevor's got the best ability, hands down. And the price of gas keeps on rising. Collateral damage, T. I got a minigun, you humorless prick. Now I Police have a chopper. minigun. Ho, ho, ho. T, down the bird. It's Where the bird at? Oh, there you are. Look out, it's coming down. Bye bye, Bernie! Nice <laughs> now let's get the fuck out of here! Incoming! Here's a backup unit! Yeah. What good that's gonna do? Go as far as the crowd. My people that. All right, John Hall. Hey, there's cops in the bay. Deploy your man to get out this way. You hear that? Hey, guys! Shit! We aren't getting out on the water! I'm pressing! We got a window! Let's move! Let's hustle. You maggot! We're not going through this, not with 50 pounds of gear! Blast it! I'm loose already! By the pool! Come on, chaps! Defend! Bro, unleash hell on it! Move it, Fatso! There is no way out! Don't hell me it? in! I shouldn't have smoked that bull before we came. <laughs> Maybe I should have. I'm wired, man. Oh, oh, you're not good. Hey, Frank! We need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the way. What we need more heat. Look, you got some more of them. I'll do it. I down you. What the hell are they wearing? Perfect. The bomb squad. But you ain't got. We'll get through it. <laughs> you caused enough damage. Give it up. No, we haven't done enough. Someone's walking. Are you seeing this? Cop car incoming! We need more guys down here. Take that, you big, big, big loose. How about the look at this? We're running into him. Is that a bomb suit? Have you seen these guys? Have you, you seen have these guys? Ain't we doing this gig to buy one of them choppers? Hi! Oh yeah, where's the chopper? Oh, never mind. Shit! The fucking army! Don't they got safe wars to be fighting? Too bad! They were in there playing dress up! Give yourself up! It's too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Ah, fine! Uh, how much those dirty cops paying you? They got the army on them! Lizard people. 
T, T, man, they're flying in the tank. We gotta move it. Like right now. If we all go, they'll get behind us. How about I push this way while you link with Franklin? Then we get out separate. Sit tight, man. Here we come. All right, this is it, man. You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. Stop these bricks. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on. That tank don't look too friendly. Nobody's about to end the turret at us. Now let's go inside, regroup. He shot old man, huh? Group just minutes. fine. Oh, look, hiding the motherfucking in suits. Come on! The pl platform! We're going. Sorry. <laughs> you probably were unarmed, but oh well. They're all over us! Don't worry. We got this. Cut your ass like switch cheese, sucker. We got a visual on the perp in pursuit. Got the carbine. This way, through the warehouse! Reload. Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out. This is about Trevor. He can do this. As long as he has a special ability. He can cut through these guys. Okay. You're gone. You will not be Frank. giving up. How you holding up, kid? 
Business is surrounding yourself with talent. I feel like the right manager unlocked his potential. How's the die pack? Uh, die pack. Oh, more army showing up. No problem. We got him. Try to break out the big gun. <laughs> oh. I don't see you. You lose that money, a lot of blood, you don't have a chance in hell to survive. It's our only shot. What the hell? up to the end of the screen and we've accomplished a heist somewhat of a heist because we're, we're going to get paid this much money let's go Yo. Ah. easy easy i'm a friendly agent sanchez our very own corrupt g-man in training you gotta be careful buddy all right because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals and if you're mistaken you'll be shot amigo very amusing yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public $6, worker $6. remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah. That's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monstrous. I'm out. Exactly more Agent money. Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? All right, we should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Mm. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, homie. Right. Oh, come on. See, Serious? Sixty-three percent. So the crew and Lester got two hundred ten. We got four hundred forty-three thousand. So it ain't bad. FBI FIB cut is six point two mil out of an eight mil score. Fifty-one thousand four hundred sixteen dollars drop and two million dollars in collateral damage also deducted. I guess. Oh, we did two million in collateral damage, which is good. So at least you got money. We each got the same salary. So.
so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go to Franklin. Back to fucking civilization. Yep. So next time I'm gonna probably use this opportunity to prep up. Might run into some strangers. I'm gonna run into a stranger and see what we're about to get into. But I'm gonna need to save that for Pull the Aegean! The Children of the Mountain Cult. Ah! Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look. I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. he appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. That's that one guy, never mind. Let me get back, get back to town and save. And save the game. Then we're about to close out the stream. And once again, I'd like to thank anyone for tuning into the stream, whether you're watching this on replay or you're watching it live right now. The 9 to 5 Outlaw does gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I would appreciate that. Switch to Trevor. Yeah, look at him. He is a mess. Oh. Oh. I guess party's over then. <laughs> He's in his underwear and skivvies. I guess that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic between Grand Theft Auto 5 on the 9 to 5 off of those gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Thanks for watching me play, watching me stream. I'm Killer Take care, stay safe.